Hey everybody and welcome to my usual me and welcome back to State of Decay 2. Well, we're going to go ahead and show you how to play the game a little bit easier for you so you don't get all confused and maybe you'll understand a few things that you didn't understand before. Today we're talking about base management and the base management screen. So if you go in and you hit B, you'll see all of your stations on your, on your base. Now, um, if you go into resources right here, it'll tell you exactly what you're using and what you're gaining so my people right now are we are you are eating 7.75 food per day between eight of us uh, our hydroponics are bringing us six a day our food outpost which i've got over here in the top right hand side that's bringing me one a day so i'm actually only eating 0.75 we're only losing 0.75 not even a full food a day i'm gonna go ahead and see about uh, getting another food outpost probably to get me into the positive instead of the negative, but that's pretty manageable. My meds, um, my infirmary is uh, my infirmary too is using two meds a day. But Smokey, who's my sheriff, uh, she's actually uh, she's pulling in one med a day. That comes because she she used to grow marijuana, so you know. Um, so anyway, so the ammo isn't you. We're not we're using. We're not losing or gaining any because I have an ammo outpost. And the watchtower that I built is um, is using one, but my ammo outpost is gaining one a day, so that's a that's a that's a that's a wash, and I'm getting one material a day, mostly because of my staging area. If you, a staging area takes all of the materials that you might have to use to maintain your buildings, and it w makes it a wash. So the workshop three that I've got on this in the container base here, it gives me one a day, so I'm gaining one material a day at this present time. So, although I think I'm going to remove that staging area and put a farm in because I think I want more food and I might just get some material outposts to offset that. We're going to see how that goes. Uh, it, anyway, so your community right here, if you look at your community, shows your population. It shows your available labor. Um, like I have an A population um, and I get um, plus one labor. I have 10 labor. I have eight people. But I have 10 labor because Daniel is uh, maxed out in construction. And Sarah is highly responsible, so she gets plus one labor as well. So actually, I have ten labor available. And if you, what is labor? What is that? Well, when you go to upgrade a, uh, when you go to upgrade one of your stations, I got somebody in my base. When you go to upgrade your stations, it takes. We got it. All right, good, good, good. Let me go ahead and close this door. I'm trying to make a video here. What are you trying to do? Anyway, <coughs> so. Um, whenever you're upgrading or you're or you're creating a base or whatever, it will show you. It'll show you a little guy with a shovel and some dirt right there. See right there, it says ten. That is how many people it's going to take, how much labor it's going to take to to do something. So I have ten available to me if I ever want to go ahead and build or 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 upgrade a station. All my stuff is upgraded right now. I don't need it. So. And also. Also, under the community tab, it tells you how many available beds you have. Uh, the container base actually provides eight beds. One of my person, Sarah, she sleeps on the ground, so she doesn't need a bed. So I actually have one bed available. I can pull in a ninth person if I want, and I won't be short on beds. So that's what those mean. And the effects are how many positive or how many positives, how many negatives you got. So, or, oh no, that's okay. These are all positive and negative effects affecting our community. Right now, I have 10 influence gained. I have knowledge of all these items right here with all my people. I am, we, we are actually, Antoine has a meal plan, so we only consume 25%, we or 75% of our food per day that we normally would because he actually has a meal plan in his hero bonus. And let's see, uh, we have a negative 20 fatigue severity because uh, Bullseye, he has a hero bonus of siestas. Let's see, what else do we have that's cool? Um, uh, yeah, we have a five, plus five max carrying capacity because Rita likes to give back rubs. Um, we have, I have four more outposts that I can use. Uh, we got, I get a plus two outpost limit because I have the satellite dish network signal booster. We have base wide water and power. And let's see, we a workshop three allows weapon repair and weapon salvage. So uh, my threat level right now, that is your zombie threat level is only two with eight people. That's because uh, Smokey has a negative two silence policy. Rhodey also has 
a negative two silence policy. And Rhodey is also a librarian, which gives her a negative one zombie threat. So we have a negative five zombie threat there. Our Watchtower 2, which I built, gives me a negative two. And our Command Center, which is the container fort itself, has Castle Doctrine, which gives a negative two zombie threat. So in effect, I have a two, four, six, eight, nine, negative nine zombie threat between all of those buffs. But the trade outpost makes one zombie threat. Kitchen two makes one. Still two makes one. And I have eight people. So I have eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, but I have negative eight. Wait, that didn't add up. Negative nine. Okay, it does add up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have a, my threat level is two at the moment. And so right now, it says that uh, we're making a little noise, but not enough to draw it in the Zeds. And if I dropped two people, I'd have a threat level of zero with six people and a full working base. And of course, every time that you use something in your base, let's say I will make, we'll make some ethanol. That risk goes up. Now it's a, a zombie threat of four. So now for the next 20 minutes, I'll have a threat level of four. I still haven't reached this first line, which should uh, be the first place where you're going to start to see zombie attacks, like in big amounts. Um, I'm obviously not going to have any sieges or any, you know, any big problems, but I might have a little bit of, I might see a little extra zombie action from using the still, but I shouldn't see very much at all. So hopefully guys, that gives you an idea of your base management system. Uh, from, oh, no, actually, you know what? From the, uh, from, from this from this screen right here, you can go into your into your uh, crafting station. You can add mods. You can you can you can work with mods. Like I want to go ahead. I have six food a day, but I want to add seed, so it's going to increase my yield by fifty percent. So and what, it's going to take five minutes, and I just raised my zombie threat up to five by doing that. But I'm still below the line, so I think I'm going to be okay. We might get a little action, but we're gonna. That's going to raise my hydroponic food production up by 50%. So instead of six food today, I'll be getting nine food per day. So once that goes, goes into effect, uh, since we only use 7.7, .7, I'll actually be gaining food today. So that's going to be good for us. And let's see, if you want to go infirmary, you can, uh, you can create craft medical items from here. You make your, you know, your plague cure, your bulk plague cure, and your command center. Now what you can do, guys, when you're out in the field also, Say you're out running around or whatever, and you get infected. Okay, and you can go into your base management screen. You can go into your infirmary. You can craft a medical item. You can craft your plague cure, and it'll go into your storage, which you can access from a depot. I've got an outpost open, right? So I can go. I can clear out a. I can clear out a building. I can clear out a building somewhere. And then I can, cr I can create an outpost and I can get into my storage so I can grab that cure and use it. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. All right, guys. So I hope that that answered any questions you had about your base management screen. And I hope that was helpful to you. If that was, well, hey, man, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. And we'll see you next time in State of Decay 2. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.